7 News always investigating and looking into a growing trend in tobacco-related products. Right now, electronic cigarettes are not regulated by the FDA. And while the users may think they are safer than traditional cigarettes, there's no proof supporting that claim. Amanda Koss goes inside a lab to find out what's really inside those vapors. They're battery-powered, smokeless, and come in all kinds of flavors. Electronic cigarettes are exploding in popularity nationwide. In fact, the CDC estimates use has more than doubled in recent years. But with no FDA regulation on e-cigarette vapor, we wanted to do our own testing to find out just how safe or unsafe these vapors really are. I would say that e-cigarettes are the cigarette of the 21st century. Scientist Prue Talbot and her team at the University of California, Riverside, are among the first in the country to analyze e-cigarettes. We tested two brands using this smoking machine and a specialized microscope. The first test showed... There's quite a bit of tin. Most of this, uh, most of this material is comprised of tin. There's also some oxygen, some copper, some nickel. The e-cigarette smoking everywhere platinum had so much metal in the vapor that it created this pellet. I think the fact that there is a significant amount of tin in, in these pellets is important. This means people who are using this product are potentially going to be inhaling the tin. Talbot says inhaling tin directly or secondhand can be dangerous. Nanoparticles in general can be toxic. In the case of the e-cigarette, is the nanoparticles would tend to go deeper into the respiratory system. Dr. Talbot tested dozens of e-cigarette brands. She's found each one provides a different result because each brand is manufactured independently. For example, the Mystic e-cigarette we tested doesn't have any tin in the vapor. <sighs> e-cigarettes are so new, there have been no long-term health studies regarding overall safety, including whether or not they're any safer than regular cigarettes. It's concerning to me, for sure. Dr. Larry Wolk is the executive director and chief medical officer at the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment. He's one of a dozen public health leaders nationwide now urging FDA regulation to send a clear message about what's inside these vapors and the potential health risks. Manufacturers of these, they do not have to disclose really what's inside. There's no disclosure requirement without the FDA authority. I believe this is a loophole that uh, the manufacturers either stumbled onto or found purposefully. So I have to be optimistic and hope that the FDA will catch up to this now and say, yes, this is a nicotine tobacco-like product that does need to be regulated. Amanda Cost, 7 News. The Smoking Everywhere products are made in China, and we contacted the U.S. distributor based in Florida. We haven't received a response. Mystic is also made in China with offices in California. A spokesperson is reviewing the research before issuing a response to our story.